Someone sets out to slay a dragon. It takes a while, it's a journey, a quest that gets sidetracked, delayed. There are wins and losses along the way. This person is a leader. And behind them is an army, making sure that when they do get to the dragon, it will die. Is this an all hands or a meeting of the Tolkien Society? And finally, it's just the knight and the dragon. And the knight isn't sure how it's gonna go. Wouldn't be a quest of any worth if it didn't have risk. It's an epic fight. The sword finds its home and the dragon dies. But that isn't the end. I killed the dragon that was Chuck Rhodes. You may have become aware and it may have disturbed you, but all of you guarded the castle while I was gone. You rode with me when you had to. You protected me from any threats. There's a reason why the killing isn't the end of the story. The real end is when you eat the dragon's heart, passing it around so everyone can taste freshly slaughtered power. You get the most power from the hearts of your enemies. Yes. And since dragon hearts are hard to come by, and uh, something a little more delicious than blood. <laughs> My victories are our victories. My wins are your wins. And dragons aren't the only creatures that should fly. So you're all getting a Wheels Up membership plus 100K in flight credits on me. Please welcome Questlove, DJing the night. Converted him. <laughs> fucking got them all. They fucking love him. Shit, that was the plan all along. <laughs>